Hello, and welcome to Factoring versus Solving. So let's look at the visual difference between these two examples. On the left, we have a trinomial, and on the right, we have the same trinomial, but on the right, we have an equals zero. That means on the left, we have an expression, whereas on the right, when you have an equal sign, that turns it into an equation. On the left, to factor, we're going to write it as a product of polynomials, but on the right, for the equation, we need to get a solution. We need x equals what to make this equation zero. To factor on the left, we're gonna pull out the GCF of two. And when we pull that out, we're gonna be left with x squared plus four x minus five, and hopefully we realize that this can be factored again. We can use the AM method to find two numbers that multiply to negative five and add to four. Those two numbers are going to be positive five and negative one. And double check your work. Five times negative one is negative five. Five plus negative one is your positive four. And we're done. We fully factored it. On the right, we're going to start by doing the same thing. We're going to start solving the equation by factoring. And we already know that this trinomial is going to factor into 2 times x plus 5 times x minus 1. And we're going to write the equal 0. Now, to actually solve this, we have to make a t-chart. Right? And in the first binomial, we're going to set it equal to 0. So x plus 5 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. And now you have to solve these two mini equations. So we see that in the first one, we're going to get x equals negative 5. And in the second one, we are going to get x is equal to positive 1. So when you plug these two solutions into your equation, negative 5 and 1 will both make the equation equal to 0, so we solved it properly. You can leave your answer like this, or for equations, you can actually write your solution in forms of brackets as negative 5, comma, 1, because the brackets represent a solution set. Please be careful. Do not write your answer in parentheses. Because this doesn't mean your solution set. This means a coordinate, negative 5, comma, 1. Let's try another example. So in the next example, we have another equation, which means we have to get what x equals. Please do not divide by x on both sides. Because if you divide by a variable, chances are you're going to be losing a possible solution. Instead, what we're going to do is set it equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides, and we're going to get x squared minus 5x is equal to 0. Once your equation is set equal to 0, then you can factor to solve it. We'll notice that we have a GCF of x. And when we pull that out, we're going to get x times x minus 5 equals zero. Again, we're not dropping the equal zero. Now that it's fully factored, we're going to make your t-chart. On the left side, we have x equals zero. It's already done for us. We don't have to do any more. On the right side, x minus five equals zero. We bring over that five to get x by itself, and we get that x is equal to five. So again, you could write your solutions as x equals 0 and x equals 5. Or you can write them in brackets. Either one would be correct. And you could see either one in your multiple choice options. Let's try one more because this last one's a bit different. In this particular one, there's no factoring, right? It's two terms, it's a perfect square for the x squared, but that's it. Two's not a perfect square, seven's not a perfect square, so you can't do dots. There's no GCF between two x squared and negative seven, so what do you do? 
In this particular case, we're going to isolate the variable. So we're going to bring over the 7 to get 2x squared equals 7. And we're going to keep getting x by itself by dividing by 2. So x squared is equal to 7 halves. Hopefully we remember that to get x by itself, to undo a power of 2, you are going to take the square root. And we're going to have x equals radical 7 over 2, but when we take the square root, you need to include a plus or minus. So that's our solution to this particular example. But let's see why for this one, we could get the variable by itself, whereas the previous two, we couldn't. So in the previous two equations, we had to factor to solve them. And in this one, we didn't have to factor. Can you tell what the difference is? Maybe we notice that on the right, the previous two equations had several terms with different variables that had different exponents, right? We have an x squared and an x to a first. Whereas in this equation, we just had one term with a variable. That's the reason why on the right, we could factor, and on the left, we can isolate the variable. So you have to look at a problem and think to yourself, which method am I going to do? Am I going to isolate the variable, or can I possibly factor this equation to get the solution? So let's sum it up. We're going to remember two important things. The first, is that solving requires solutions in the form of x equals or the brackets, not parentheses. And the second is going to be that you can use factoring to help you solve. Please be careful, whenever it says to just factor, we don't want to end in an x equals. We only want to have x equals for equations when you see that equal sign. I hope this helped.